Hey everyone, I'm Brian with WorkshopAddict.com and we're going to go over one of Milwaukee Tools new innovations. They came out with the new M18 Fuel one key half inch high torque impact wrench which is model number 2863-20. This is the same model basically as the 2766 or 2767 but this one has one key so it has some crazy controls inside of it to allow you to get some excellent reproduction of torque on different materials. So what we're going to do in this video is go through what you can change on one key, what they've added to it, how this tool kind of works out cool for mechanics and different people who are trying to work specifically with lug nuts, work specifically with concrete fasteners, or just working specifically with setting the tool up how they want to. Then we're going to go into how we tested it and show you some pretty amazing results. So if you want to see what this impact wrench is capable of, this is a 1,400 foot-pound nut busting impact wrench. We're going to recommend that you go back to a video that we did prior on the 27, 67, and 66. We'll tell you the differences between the uh, friction ring and the pin detent model in that video. Go over completely what that unit can do and how we tested it. This is the same unit just with some computer controls. So. Let's start out by going over the app and what you can change. Milwaukee's One Key app allows you to customize, track, and also manage your tool platform. So when you're going into the platform or into the app, you can see everything that you can do, where this was last seen. Uh, you can put in all kinds of different information on it. But we will connect to tool here, which allows us to change almost anything. We can go through the tool information, the identity, the factory reset, but what we're concerned with is the tool controls. So this lays out how this unit was set up pretty much from the factory except we've changed number four multiple times. So on your normal torque wrench you're going to have speed one which is going to be slow. This one's set up for a max RPM of 550. It's not set up for the bolt removal or the customized torque. But what we like about this one is that you can adjust the trigger and more importantly the work du uh, light duration and the work light brightness. This tool has a very bright LED and in some cases can be a little bit too bright. As we go through to number two, you can see this one's 1200 RPMs, number three, 1750, which is normal on even the other one. Then at number four they have a bolt or lag control on the other one and we got a small error. That has been something I've been fighting a little bit on my specific phone and I don't really know why but I apologize for that. It's easy to get back into which is good. So we can go back into four and on four we have a lug nut control set. You have two torque levels in their estimates. Uh, this unit is going to get within plus or minus 25 percent of where you set this to go and you can see 180 to 130 is going to be about in that area and then they have the 130 to 180 which would be for a little bit larger trucks. So you can switch between these do whatever you'd like. You can even set up a bolt removal which will do initial RPMs or anything you'd like there along with the trigger and the work light. But what we can also do here is change our setup. Go to the standard drive control which is everything you've seen basically from one through four which we can adjust our RPM to whatever we'd like. If we want to set a bolt removal RPM so that we can control it a little bit more and if we want to customize our torque we can set this from 1 to 20. Now what that does is it will work with your initial RPMs that you have set up and then it will slow and torque so many impacts through this counter to this torque level. So for example for us level 2 we came up with approximately 82 pounds and that's going to depend on what you're actually fastening and you'll have to mess with it to get where you want to be. But even more interesting with this is if you're working with screw-in anchors, you can tell this unit what size bolt you have. Let's just go with the 5 8 And then you can tell it what length, and it will do all the work for you and not over-tighten your bolt or strip it. So you can also work with your LED and your trigger ramp up. 
but there's a lot that you can do inside this unit. But for most people, at least maybe a lot of our viewers, you're interested in this lug nut control. So basically, let's set this one up on level two and do a quick test on one of our trucks. So as we said before, Milwaukee is getting this repeatable torque by using a impact counter inside this tool. So we went to our Ford F-350, which has a 165 foot-pound rating for the lug nuts, removed the, the lug nuts, and then let this tool put them back on and automatically stop to see what type of ratings we're gonna get. We went through with our electronic torque wrench and measured out on the first one, 147 foot-pounds, and the second one was 143 foot-pounds, the third one 149 foot-pounds, fourth 139 foot-pounds, fifth 152 foot-pounds, 130 foot-pounds, seventh is 123 foot-pounds, and eighth is 134. So if you look at it, we have two outliers there of 123 and 150. And that's pretty good for an impact wrench because it's been buried into our heads for as long as I can remember that these are not accurate tools at all. So if you look, we're really close in the 140 range, which we feel is good. If you were to actually torque this to 165 or even 170, if you go through and set your torque wrench at 165, you're just kind of making sure it made it there. It could be 168, it could be 220 you don't know. So this tool allowed us to go through and set every lug nut at exactly 165 foot-pounds of torque, which is exactly what we wanted. We weren't guessing that it's at least there or higher. That was awesome for us. Now we didn't want to stop there. We kind of wanted to do some testing and we got out a torque stick to use with this model. And we thought, you know, this is traditionally not allowed. Torque sticks were meant for a pneumatic use, and when you put them on these new battery-operated uh, impact wrenches, they just don't work. So we wanted to kind of prove that, so we pulled out our 65-foot-pound torque stick and put it on a trailer ball. We were able to tighten that up to 104 foot-pounds. So that's the reason why you don't want to use a torque stick with these. They simply don't work. And since this unit is supposed to replace torque sticks and be used in different areas like that, we wanted to do a little more testing to find out its accuracy. So we used our torque wrench, tightened up a ball on a hitch to 160 foot-pounds, and then wanted to test how many foot-pounds our torque wrench measured to remove it. So that was 125 foot-pounds our torque wrench measured going in reverse to remove a 160 foot-pound nut. That is don't even pay attention basically to the number here. We're just measuring accuracy because we feel the best way that we can measure accuracy is to slowly put some pressure on that torque wrench until the nut loosens itself. Then we can show you the torque and get a repeatable number in our non-scientific area. So we started out by using this on lug nut control one, which was 80 to 130 foot pounds. We put that on the first one that we were taking off was 78 foot-pounds, the second one was 72 foot-pounds, third one, 72 foot-pounds, fourth one, 76. Think about that, that is super tight. You know, when we get a rating of plus or minus 25%, that test was really close. So that was awesome. So we changed it to lug nut setting two, and on the first one, we got 102 pounds, Second one, 93 foot-pounds. Third one, 103 foot-pounds. Fourth one, 109 foot-pounds. Again, in that test, we're kind of removing a lot of variables, and they're obviously a lot tighter than that, but this is the way we're doing it to try to get some repeatability out of our testing too, so we are fair to this tool. That's really close. So we're getting a lot of this close, very repeatable torque out of this, which is amazing. Now, do I think that this unit is, should take the place of a torque wrench? No, no way, no how, and I don't think Milwaukee designed it for that. I think they're designing it to get you close, to get something that's very repeatable, and then allow you to fasten it with a torque wrench to get a little bit more accuracy out of it and make sure that you're there and that you're not putting something in at 220 foot-pounds and making just putting your torque wrench on saying yep it made 165. 
So this tool does exactly what they're saying it's doing. And I think that they're being a little bit loose on its accuracy. It may have one or two outliers, but when they you know, advertise plus or minus 25%, I think that they're getting a lot better than that with it. But again, with something that's marketing like this, I'm actually happy that they're not saying plus or minus 10 and we're finding outliers. I'm, I'm really thrilled that we're finding that it's much tighter than what they're advertising. So if you're looking for something like this, it's probably going to help a lot of mechanics or someone who's working with tires on and off all the time. They can set this up. They're not going to go to their one key app all the time. They're going to set mode level one up for the low lug nut setting. Mode number two is going to be for the medium setting and three and four are going to be low and high or however you're going to do it. I don't think that this is going to be something that you're going to go, well, let's get our phone out and change it for this car. No way. Let's get this set and ready to go. Remember what settings are on it and just go and use it. I think that's perfect for this. Now, when you get into the bolts and the construction, that's something that people might go in and change if they have a ton of these that they're putting in and it just works. I, don't, I still don't think you're gonna switch between different bolt sizes all the time. I don't think one key is meant for that. I think one key is meant to make things faster not to just play with your phone all day. With that said, read a little bit more on one key about the advanced tracking that they got on there. A lot of the management tools to keep track of your tools. They've got ticks out now that you can apply to ladders. I know a lot of people are using it and really like it, but again, it's one of those stages where you have to like knowing where everything's at, using your cell phone or smartphone and your computer and just geeking out on knowing that you have everything tracked, you know where everything is, and stuff isn't walking off the job site. So this tool, very cool. Get this tool, great torque wrench, you're in business, awesome. Read about it at workshopaddict.com, follow us on social media, give us a like, subscribe to this channel. We appreciate your time, guys. Have a great day.